So it. So it 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 shouldn't. Let's make sure that switch. All right. Switch. Fifty seconds. How you like that for an all count? Yeah. This thing. Right. Sure. Make sure it's. Look, you guys playing. Make sure it's. What do you need? Seven Eleven. Make sure it doesn't like. Oh yeah, it's on vibrate. Forty eight seconds. It's on vibrate. Okay. Yeah. So good. it won't. Okay, good. Here's that thing running around a case. I do it so fragile. All right, we are getting there. <laughs> we are truly getting there. 35 seconds. Ten.
beautiful. The Storyboard is the name of the group. Live in the studio here with us, uh, Shells, right? Shells of a Robot. Shells. Shells of a Robot is the name of the tune here on Del Marva's Rock Radio. It's 93.5 The Beach. This is your hour of local music. We call this local produce. You guys are from Northern Virginia. I'm actually rather excited to have you in here. You have quite an eclectic group, if I do say so myself. I think it's the first time we've ever had a banjo live in the studio. Nice. I've had keyboards before, but it's always nice to have one back in here. And, uh, you know, you got your acoustic guitar. you got a little drum action going on here in the back. Tell me a little bit about this project, man. How have you guys all gotten together over the years and everything like that? Just tell me what's going on. Cool. Uh, we uh, have definitely been in like, different local bands. Metal bands throughout the years together. Me and Jeff, our drummer, been we were in a band like ten years ago <laughs> together. Yeah. Um, pretty awesome, awesomely terrible metal band. <laughs> um, <laughs> off, awful. It mixed us together. Well, um, um, if I can ask, together. if I can so just interject real quick, what, sure. what happened to uh, you have a you have a great melodic sound. I think you guys all really get you you mesh well because there's a lot of times when you have two or three different instruments, they all try to take the spotlight from one another, but you guys really know when to stand back, when to play, when not to play. Um, what happened with the whole metal thing? Did you grow up? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally. That's, dude, I found that myself yeah. over time. You know, as you grow older, that the metal, the it, whether it's speed, death, what, whatever you have going on, right. it's like you, you kind of grow out of it and you get this much more mellow attitude where it's like, I kind of just want to play an acoustic. It's right, in the right, corner, right. man. Yeah, I understand. It just—it seemed like it was more of like a formulaic thing, you know, the whole metal thing. You know, more power people that play metal. But, Definitely. Uh, you know, it got to points where as a vocalist, I was like, okay, you know, I'm tired of, okay, here's the screaming part. Yeah, no, well, here's I, the, the soft part. I won't, I won't dismiss metal altogether. Right. A lot of people that I know that play metal are extremely talented, could never wrap my head around half of the things they're playing in a million years. Right. But it's, uh, I, I, like, as I've grown, grown older myself, I find that my musical tastes are kind of, right. you know, branching out a little bit. You know, when I was a kid, I used to go Dave Matthews, that guy. I hate him. <laughs> now oh, I'm like, John. you know, I'm, oh. I'm only 23, but at this point, I'm like, I've been to a couple Dave shows, and it blows my mind, right. you know what I mean? So it's a whole different style, but when you really pinpoint it, it's still the arts there, you know, everything right. about it. It takes time. It takes each... Each genre has its own nuances where you have to perfect. I think you guys do well Thank with you what you're doing. Um, but we were talking about, you know, metal in general. Right. The whole thing about metal is you really have to be top-notch, oh. technical with everything that you do. Yeah, to stand out. Yeah. Definitely with, with the metal bands today, absolutely, you have to. And some, you know, they're all playing eight strings and 15-string right. basses, <laughs> and it's, you know, whatever. But anyway, continue, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to but no, no, actually, it's funny. We were talking about that today. I was like, man, you know, it was an old John Mayer song that was playing. It came out in, like, 2003, and I was like, I told the guys, I was like, man, I used to hate this song when it came out because I was listening to like Il Nino and like yeah. Slipknot, which are still great bands. But you know, as my tastes have grown, as I've gotten older, I was like, you know what, this song's like freaking brilliant. Yeah. So <laughs> Truly. it's just funny that when you get older, your your tastes definitely change up a little bit. And I will say, Izzy, when I was younger, and I ha I have the similar scenario going. It's uh, John Mayer and Jack Johnson. I couldn't stand oh, Jack Johnson right. or yeah, John yeah. Mayer. Yeah. And growing up, I was a metal musician myself. I, like I said, I, I don't have half of the licks of the guys around here. But um, growing up as a metal musician and seeing this guy John Mary's playing with BB King and, and all that, it's like, dude, what the hell does that guy have? You know? And then it's like when you really start to get dig deep in there, you're like, oh, he's got a lot of soul. Okay, oh, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. So, but I, I can I can definitely understand that. Now, um, you guys have all come together from various groups. Northern Virginia is where you're. Are you're all from that area? Yeah. yeah is there yeah. a certain town that you call home? Woodbridge, Virginia. Woodbridge, Virginia. Woodbridge. 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 We've got a Woodbridge around here, too. Yeah. Kind of. We've got a Bridgeville and a Greenwood. We combine the school district. <laughs> college with college. Nice. Yeah, I nice. can understand it. What's the population out there like? Are you it's, guys uh, a lot of people? Or? We actually just got voted the number one traffic location in the United States. It's Worse. true. Really? What does that mean? Worst traffic. Worst traffic. Worst traffic. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, you just don't want to be on a track. On yeah. 95 <laughs> South is, is oh, it's track. Sit, yeah. sitting no. traffic. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But aside from that, is it is it mostly rural? Is it? You oh know? no, no, it's, it's suburbs of Washington D.C. Yeah. Really? Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. See, I'm I'm not familiar with that whole area. Right, that's right. why I asked. Yeah. But um, so that's a lot of potential out there for some playing gigs. That whole area. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's there's some great venues. So cool. And you guys said I asked earlier, you're playing with some bands out there. What's the name of the band you threw at me? Katura. Katura. Our that's, buddies in Katura. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's the main squeeze. You gotta talk to them, man. Send me some stuff. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Anyway, the storyboard, uh, the website is... The storyboardmusic.com. The storyboardmusic.com. Check them out. You can get all your latest uh, show dates and, and things of that nature. Merch? Any merch available? Yeah, uh, the album. 
the album. Of course, the album. You just handed me a copy. Of it. What's it called again? I have it right here. It's self-titled. I have the I have the album in my go home bag, just in case you didn't notice, which happens to be my girlfriend Morgan's purse. I keep everything of value in there, so I actually end up listening to it. Uh, the storyboard, you guys. I want to hear another tune. If you're ready, would you crank sure. one out for us? Sure. What, do you, what do you got? Tell me a little bit about this song before we Actually, uh, my fiance is gonna love this. This song is called Delorean. It's kind of a Back to the Future throwback, obviously, and I wrote it for her. So pretty brilliant for all of the uh, well geeks like myself. Right, and us too, man. We have played this one before, but it's always good to hear a live take on it. The storyboard. The song is called DeLorean. Whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and kick it. <laughs> Storyboard is the name of the group. They're live in the studio with us tonight. Uh, if you guys don't mind, let's take a quick, somewhat break. I'm going to keep the listening audience moving, uh, but we're going to kind of breathe ourselves. Here's one from Plain Slice, Mike Truitt. It's called Change the Locks. We'll be right back with the storyboard. I want to talk a little bit about the roach in the corner over here. <laughs> Still Marvelous Rock Radio, 93.5 The Beach. Don't go anywhere. Woo! There you go. What's that? 